Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to your reading for the week of August 2nd. Uh, we are going to jump right in here, uh, Gemini, and we are going to see what is going on in your current general energies in this first row. We are going to take a look at uh, anything unexpected coming in in the second row, and then we're going to look at any messages from your guides in the last row. I'm also going to pull three yes or no question cards at the end, and I will give you time to think of your questions. Also, if you don't have any questions, I'm just going to put all three cards together and read them all as one. But let's see here uh, what is going on for you here, uh, Gemini. Let's see. Uh, Gemini, you start off with this B card here. Um, every single sign has had something about teamwork showing up. This card in this deck, the Tarot of the Wild Unknown Animal Oracle, is all about teamwork. So I feel for some of you working on a team is going to be uh, very beneficial uh, for you at this time. Uh, it's also a card of vibrations. There's like a bunch of vibes going on around this B on this card. So uh, anything you can do to have more positive vibrations or to, uh, you know, give off more positive vibrations, I feel would be a good idea for you. You have the uh, Queen of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the Six of Cups here. For a lot of you, I like this because uh, Queen of Swords has her hand out to the Queen of Pentacles here. And, and, and um, what I would say is that the Eight of Swords can represent bumping up against an obstacle. And the Six of Cups can represent the removal of an obstacle. Six of Cups can represent love, but again... And again, I'll talk about that in a minute, but the Six of Cups is also a gift from the universe. Uh, usually, the gift we receive from the Six of Cups is the removal of some sort of obstacle. So if you have been waiting for money or and or resources to be able to move forward in some way in your life, this could be the resources showing up. The thing with the Queen of Pentacles is it's usually resources that we either have or that we make on our own. So it could be financial, again, but it doesn't have to be. It could be people in your life that can help you. It could be, you know, uh, information that you have. It could be anything. So you're going to have to tap into your resources. The Queen of Pentacles, again, is a card of needing to take action because it's a card of resourcefulness, meaning that you are resourceful, but you're going to have to find the resources. So I feel for a lot of you, it's kind of like you're seeing a resource here that could set you free from this Eight of Swords energy. For some of you, I feel uh, this energy of marriage. <laughs> so for some of you, um, but there's like a stuck energy here. It's weird. Um, Six of Cups, Four of Wands, Nine of Swords. For some of you, it's like maybe you want to get married or I, for some of you, I feel there's like a person that you want to marry, but there's some sort of blockage. We're going to dig into it. We're going to figure it out here, Gemini, but it's popping into my head, so I have to say it. Uh, I find it really funny that, again, she is, the Queen of Swords here is like facing that Queen of Pentacles and she has her arm out. She has, she's like saying, you know, I'm willing to receive. So I feel that you are finally open to receiving something here, right? So let's see. You have the Magician, very powerful manifesting this week. So if you, in the Magician, the way I put my cards, he's pointing towards the Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like you are very easily going to be able to manifest the resources or, you know, whatever it is that you need to move forward on something here. It's over here. So we'll figure out what you're moving towards in a minute. But again, I feel like you have all the talents, gifts, skills, and abilities as well. The the magician can say there's something inside of you that could increase your resources greatly. And again, this could be financial resources, could be people, could be relationships, whatever. And you have something inside of you that is capable of doing that. You have the uh, nine of wands, don't give up. What, where's this going? And the wheel of fortune and the nine of wands. I would be careful of, you know, to me, what I will say is that the Wheel of Fortune is one of the only cards in the deck that I consider to be an X coming back. And you have the Six of Cups here as well. I personally do not consider the Six of Cups to be an X coming back card. I know every reader reads it that way, but if you read about the Six of Cups, it says, do not go back to the past. I mean, basically every single book says, do not get stuck in nostalgia, meaning do not get stuck in thinking about the past. Uh, however, I will say with the Wheel of Fortune here, that's like a turnaround, um, you know, having those two cards together. The Knight of Wands would say, you know, again, if you don't want an ex back, by all means, don't go back. But if you want your ex back, for those of you that do, uh, this to me would say, 
that there is potential for the two of you to get back together. Knight of Wands is your challenge. Knight of Wands says what needs to be overcome is the inconsistent energy. Things need to be made more consistent. Is there, you know, it's pretty simple. Is there inconsistent communication? Fix it. Is there inconsistent um, romance? Fix it. Is there, what, what's inconsistent about it? You know, it's just, it's just that simple with this energy. I think that, you know, it's funny because people always ask me like, you know, stuff like that. Like what is, what do I need to fix it? What, you know, what's inconsistent? I'm like, I don't know. Look at your own relationship. What's inconsistent about it? Is it is it you know like I said is it is there not enough communication? Is there a problem in the romance department? Is there you know where is the problem? Just look at it, and it is that simple to fix. Not a lot is like not giving up. For others, I feel like this is more big picture. It's like you're not giving up on something that is more of a dream maybe or a goal that you're trying to accomplish here. Even in the area of the unexpected, you have the rabbit spirit. Definitely a ton of abundance coming in for you. Uh, rabbits represent abundance. This card says now is a lucky time. So clearly there's a lot of luck, but rabbits represent abundance. They represent being able to reproduce, obviously, but <laughs> you know it could also be, you could be, re re you could be producing something else. Like you, you could be producing a service. You could be producing uh, something at work or in business. So wherever you are producing something, wherever you are creating something, I feel there's like unexpected luck coming in for you in those areas of your life. You have the Queen of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, and the Four of Wands here. Again, she has a rabbit right here on her card. So definitely a lot of luck coming in for you here, Gemini. Uh, what, what did I say? Did I say a different sign? Sorry if I did. I never know what I'm talking about, but um, whatever. Um, what I would say here is I feel there's a lot of luck. I feel some of you have been heartbroken in the past uh, here in a situation. It's almost like you have to get out of your own head. Yeah, I, like I would say if you're going back to the past here, Gemini, you know, get out of your head because nine of swords, two of swords, like needing to make a choice. Page of Pentacles could also say there there are plenty of options out there for you. I know it's cliche, but there are plenty of fish in the sea. And that's what the Page of Pentacles, I feel, is saying. Like if you can't make up your mind, to me, you know, I'm one of those people, I'm a hell yes or a hell no type of person. I actually use the F word, which I can't say on YouTube anymore, but you know, I actually am an F yes or an F no person. Meaning if something is not a F yes, it's an F no, right, Gemini? So to me, indecision is sometimes our answer. If we can't make a decision on something, like if we can't decide whether or not we should go back to a person, the answer is probably no, right? If we can't decide whether or not we should purchase something, the answer is probably no. Some, you know, Things should be a very easy decision. If it's not, then it's not right now, right? And that's kind of like the energy I get no matter which way I go here. Uh, for others, I feel that this is kind of like saying you're gathering resources for wands that are going to set you free. Outside of marriage, four wands is a card of freedom. So I feel that you are kind of setting yourself free at this time. Uh, let's see uh, where this is going for you, Gemini. Nine of Pentacles, resourcefulness, pre empress energy. She has six pentacles for herself, three pentacles for whatever else. So it's kind of like saying, that you have the resources necessary to do the things you want. You have the moon here. And what if I make the wrong decision? <laughs> and the seven of pentacles, change in direction. Uh, I would say, don't be afraid of going on some sort of adventure either. Knight of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune. Knight of Wands is a card of adventure. It is a card of mysteries, just like the moon card is a card of mysteries. Moon represents a period after a full moon. And the period after a full moon is a period of innovation. It's a period of trying new things. And it's like, he's got these three pyramids down here. And those pyramids represent kind of like uncertainty, not really uncertainty, but more mystery. So, you know, to me, he is like the builder as well in the tarot. He is like building something. He is building up to something. He is creating something. It could be anything, a business, a job, relationships, whatever. So it's like you are building up to something here. Not really sure, a little scary, right? But I would keep pushing forward here. I would say don't allow your uncertainty to, you know, get in the way with the um, moon card. Because again, whatever whatever direction you're going is part of your um, destiny. I think sometimes it's like, you know, um, we could be building something or doing something like starting a business or we could be getting into a new relationship and we start second guessing things. I think also pe we second guess the steps that we need to take to get to somewhere. And um, what I mean by that is it's like if we're building a business, we might feel like we should read a book about, you know, something total about dinosaurs or something like that. And then, then we judge it. We're like, oh no, I shouldn't read this book. But the maybe there might be a piece of advice in that book that you're being guided to uh, that will help you in your business, right? I get that feeling here with the moon. It's like, it's almost like you're on this path, right? 
you're working towards something, and I would say don't judge the things that you feel inspired to do. I have a whole entire video on that on my other channel, all about following your inspirations. It's like your inspirations don't make sense. They're not supposed to. It's like you might be thinking to yourself, uh, I wanna lose weight, and maybe you feel inspired to sit on the couch and watch TV all day. And it's like, well, just do it because maybe the universe is like, no, you need a break right now so you can gather your energy. Maybe tomorrow you're going to go for a hike for 20 miles, right? And you'll have the energy to do it because you took the break, right? So we can't, we shouldn't be judging the things that we uh, feel like we should do, right? And there is a difference. There's, there is a difference between being lazy and trusting an inspiration, right? So you just have to kind of learn how to trust that. <laughs> Is what, is what I would say here. Um, I would say this has nothing to do with laying on a couch. I would say this has more to do with uh, information. And I feel like it's just saying, you never know how uh, learning something or gaining some information could really help be very helpful, but definitely gathering resources. Uh, next, you have the release card. Again, this is in the area of advice from your guides. I feel like if something doesn't feel right, when in doubt, throw it out. So for a lot of you, I get major indecision here. I just feel like your guides are saying, indecision is your answer. Not being able to make up your mind about something is just telling you to let it go. So don't be afraid to let something go here with this release card because uh, that's what I feel like you should be doing. Uh, you have the Two of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, and the Nine of Swords here. And the Two of Swords is like she needs to make a choice, a decision. She is a card of indecision as well. Again, I feel like that's your answer uh, is that you need to move on to something new here with the Page of Pentacles. So for a lot of you, I really don't think you are going back to the past, even though the past could be showing up. Again, this is a general reading. Some of you could be going back to a past person, and this would just say you're starting over completely new, you know, where it's like maybe you're starting from zero, right? And that would be fine, you know? That might be a good idea. Uh, but for the most part, I feel that. Uh, I'm also getting, this is where I was getting judgy vibes <laughs> here. Gemini, I feel like it's just saying, don't judge yourself. I don't think it has to do with any other people. I don't think it has to do with people judging you or you judging people or anything like that. I feel like it has to do with you maybe judging situations. And I feel like it's just saying, don't judge yourself. Just, you know, allow things to come in and, uh, you know, kind of take it, take it with, uh, take it however you want it right? Uh, I don't know where I was going with that, but Gemini, let's see where this is going and let's see what comes up. You have the Six of Pentacles here, progress. Uh, I feel like you're making progress here with the Six of Pentacles. You have these swords, victory, truth coming in for you here. This could definitely be a truth coming in. I mean, you know, in a lot of ways, it could be your inner, inner truth. You could, because again, of this indecisive energy, you're choosing to make a sacrifice. There is a palm frond on this side of the Ace of Swords here. Palm fronds in the tarot represent a sacrifice. There's an olive branch on the other side, which kind of represents new abundance. And you have the Queen of Wands. Yeah, in a lot of ways, I feel like you're kind of choosing yourself. Queen of Wands, very bold, assertive energy. She really goes for something that she wants. She really kind of makes things happen. And that's kind of like the energy that I feel you are stepping up into here. I, this is your challenge right here, Gemini, is this center uh, card. You're like, if I'm being honest, you're the only sign this week <laughs> that has had a challenge like this. And I, I would say this is not a bad thing. Uh, this is just, I feel like this is just saying one foot in front of the other. The, the trick with the moon is to not go backwards or actually to not go sideways either, right? It's like these two pillars from the moon, they kind of represent a warning about getting off your path. It's almost like you see yourself going somewhere. This basically is saying, keep moving forward. As long as you're moving forward, you're fine. If you start moving backwards, that's where you're gonna get lost. Uh, can we get more, uh, I don't like to leave readings like this, so can we just get more details on how to overcome uh, this challenge this week? You have the fool, I mean, like I just said, keep moving forward. The fool is about taking a leap of faith. Uh, let's see. Three of Wands, what are you waiting for? And the, let's see, the Page of Cups. Yeah, I mean, number one, if you're worried that you're never gonna find love again, uh, you definitely will. So, you know, wouldn't worry about that if you're walking away from a person. Uh, for others, Page of Cups is about holding something as the object of your attention. He's focusing on that fish. That fish is meant to represent his imagination. He's imagining that fish, but it's also a card of kind of He's imagining something he wants. The Three of Wands is like, and the Fool, I feel like you're saying, what are you waiting for? Go for it, whatever it is that you're waiting for. So I would just do it here, Gemini. 
Uh, Gemini, let's see what is going on for you. Uh, we're going to pull three yes or no question cards now. We're going to do one, two, three. Feel free to pause this reading. And sorry, my nose itches today. My allergies are bonkers this year. Um, but we're going to do one, two, and three, and that'll be that. Uh, so for question number one, you have the seven of cups. I would say no, too confusing here, so no. For question number two, I would say yes, two of cups, perfect match. And for question number three, I would say yes, two of wands, go for it. Again, I feel that for some of you, putting this all together, this is like your soul's calling. And again, it fits in perfectly with this reading. Seven of cups says, keep your eye on the price, the page of cups. You know, hold something as the object of your attention. If there's something you want, go for it, make it happen. And don't stop is what this is saying right here. The moon is like saying, yes, there's gonna be confusion. Yes, you're not gonna be sure what direction you're going in, but that doesn't mean you should get off your path. It means you should keep moving forward. Moon comes up, moon goes down. It's almost like if you could just sit through it or work your way through it, you'll be fine. And that's what I feel like this is saying. Two of cups, you and your higher self, two of wands taking the lead. So a lot of success coming in for you here, Gemini. I like it. Definitely a lot of good stuff. So uh, thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Make sure to pick, uh, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising. Also, make sure to uh, like and subscribe. But thank you, Gemini, and definitely enjoy your week.